with the squad Mess with one of us You ain't messing with my vision Messing with the money You ain't messing with the sisters And old guys You tell me If you were going against This year's Clemson team How would you beat it? How would I beat this year's Clemson's team? Well first uh, I would not let anything happen In the past game At all Nothing's happening in the past game. If I have to sit people back on the hashes, uh, you're not passing on it this year. It's not happening. Uh, I think I would rather take my lumps, um, you know, with rushing yards, Travis Etienne. Not saying that Travis Etienne is, uh, you know, not good. Obviously, I think he's elite. Um, and I think the running game for Clemson is going to be potent. But now without Tavian and Feaster, you know, there's going to be a little less rotation because you got, um, you know, Lynn J. Dixon is going to be a true sophomore, and everybody after that is pretty much inexperienced, completely inexperienced. Uh, I, I am, again, I am doing whatever I can to let to limit the passing yards, the big plays against Clemson. That's what Clemson's good, good at on offense. Um, I'm coming at Trevor um, probably with, you know, some you know, different looks. Now, the difference between Trevor and Tua is that Tua – is a pre-snap guy. This is why this is one of the things I was talking about. Two is a pre-snap guy. The way the offense is set up, this is something I'm, I'm, I'm segueing this into for y'all, uh, for um, uh, Miami, because Dan Enos had a lot to do with the passing game. Right, right? okay. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of pre-snap reads. After that, it's, I already know who I'm going to because of where, where everybody is on the field. He, he does not, once the ball is snapped, he's not looking at where who moved here or who moved on that mm. side, he's just going to throw to who he thought to. Uh, Trevor is actually really good at once the post snap is going, trying to understand where everybody's going to be moving. So it's a it's a fluid thing. He knows where people are going to be before they go. Uh, if I'm Trevor, though, I mean, if, if I'm anybody defensively, I'm not rushing him. I'm really? not sending four no. people at Trevor. Nope. Nope. Because when you do that, if – because the rock trees for everybody like that, if, if people, like, for instance, if you've got uh, trips uh, and you got a, on the strong side and you got Justin Ross and uh, T. Higgins on one side, you know, they obviously have uh, a route tree that they have to run. If you rush all your people at him, all they're going to do is go, well, I'm going to break off this in an emergency route. I'm going to hit like a little slant. Ain't nobody going to be there at all. But if you if you make everybody be patient, you, you, you force Trevor have to find – uh, his receivers, and that's what that's how I'm going after him. Uh, good, still good luck with it, but who knows? Uh, defensively, obviously, we know that we're missing all the defensive linemen that we had: uh, Cleveland Furl, Dexter Lodge, Christian Wilkins, and Austin Bryant. All gone to the NFL. If it's me, I'm running right at the middle of Clemson's defensive line, right up the middle, every time, uh, until they show that they can stop it. Uh, because we got some guys who are really talented there. I mean, very, very good players. And Clemson rotates a lot, so these kids aren't completely inexperienced, but they're not four-year starters, three-year starters like we had before. Um, I'm going to Obviously, Shaq Smith not playing is going to open up a little bit in the middle. Um, it just depends. It, it, I, the way I'm going to attack, I'm going to attack Clemson is I'm going to hit that middle, and I'm going to hit them with some RPOs. Uh, quick pass type stuff. That's where you get Clemson. You get them with the quick pass stuff. Um, this year, Clemson's secondary is actually going to be the strength of the defense. So mm. you don't really want to attack those dudes. You want to attack the linebackers because it's very young now. Okay. And, um, uh...